What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, the Techno Dad here, and in this video I'm going to unbox and check out the SVS PB4000 subwoofer. We're going to get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. Now if you're new to the channel, my name is Chana and I'm really into my sound. As a music producer and a working DJ, I've always been crazy about my sound. So if you want to step up your audio game, you've come to the right place. Now before we begin, I need to give a big shout out and thank you to SBS for sending this monster subwoofer over for review. Thanks guys, I really do appreciate it. And oh yeah, it's been pretty awesome. So the SVS PB4000 is a very, very large subwoofer and I have it in my living room, which might be a little bit on the big side. It comes in around 150 pounds and it's huge, it's a monster, it's a beast, however you like to describe it. It also comes in at a fairly high price, $18.99 for the black ash finish that I have and $19.99 for the gloss black finish. I went with black ash because I'm not a huge fan of the gloss black speakers. Now I'm really excited about this video because I've come up with one of the coolest bass demos and I know the subwoofer can handle pretty much anything I could throw at it. So uh, I'll put up a timeline so you know when the bass demo occurs so you can skip right along to that if you like to. Uh, right now let's go upstairs and unbox the PB4000. Check it out. Oh yeah. All right, everyone. First thing I had to do was figure out how to get this beast upstairs. My teenager wasn't here to help, so I figured I could flip it end over end and get it up the stairs. And what do you know? I was able to do it all by myself. If you've been watching the channel for a year or so, you know I like to decouple my subwoofers from the floor. So I went ahead and got the Auralux Great Grandma version 2, which you can see here. So the subwoofer sits on this and this will be on the floor. This particular model has a weight limit of 300 pounds, so we're good to go. SVS has some really nice and easy to follow unboxing instructions on the outside, so I just followed those. Basically, you open up the ends and then push the subwoofer out of the box. Now this box is huge. I could even take a little nap in here if I wanted to. Now the first thing I see is the IEC power cable. Next we have the remote, battery for the remote control, three port plugs, and of course the metal grill. I had to be a little creative to get the PB4000 out of the packaging myself, but it wasn't too hard and I had this bad boy out in no time. Here's a tip if you have carpet, remove the rubber feet and you'll be able to move the sub super easy across the floor. So now on to the front of the PB4000. We have a 13 and a half inch driver mated to a sledge, class D amp, 1200 watts RMS, and a whopping 4000 plus watts of peak power. Wow, this should really do some damage. As for frequency response, the PB4000 has a few different configurations. In sealed mode, that means all three ports are plugged, we get 18 hertz to 200 hertz. In standard mode, meaning no ports are plugged, we get 16 hertz to 200. And in the extended mode with only one port plug, we get a frequency response of 13 hertz to 200. Wow, that's super low. All right, that's enough for the front. Let's flip this thing around and check out the back. From top to bottom, we have the ins and outs for this subwoofer. At the very top, we have the RCA inputs, and mostly everyone will be using the LFE input to connect to your AVR. Below that, we have a trigger input for remote power on sent from your AVR or power amp. Toward the bottom, we have balanced XLR inputs and outputs. And on the bottom left of the subwoofer, we have the power port and the power switch. Notice the power switch only has on and off. I personally use auto with all my subs, and I've got a little tip where you can go to find that setting. You're gonna need to download the SVS app, 
and connect the sub via Bluetooth. Once you do that, open the app, tap on the three lines in the top right corner, tap system settings, and then tap the bar under subwoofer standby. Here's where you set how the sub turns on. You have three choices, auto, on, which is the default, and trigger. I want auto, so I tap auto and we're all set. Now, if you want a longer tutorial about the SBS app, my buddy Youthman has an awesome tutorial. It's super in-depth and I'll link it down in the description with a card up top as well. All right, so to connect this subwoofer, we first plug in the power cable at the bottom of the subwoofer, and now we need to connect it to the Denon X4400H. We just take an RCA cable from the subwoofer output on the Denon and plug it into the LFE RCA input on the back of the PB4000. Next, we switch it on, but it won't actually turn on until the sub senses a signal since we set it to auto earlier in the SVS app. All right, so we got the sub upstairs. We got it out of the box. It's sitting on the decoupling device. So now it's your favorite time and mine. Let's do a demo. Now, if you've watched my other subwoofer videos, you know I love the sine wave bass drop at the beginning of Lord of the Rings. Now, I figured I'd do something different this time. I'm pretty sure the PB4000 can handle that bass drop without breaking a sweat. So for this bass demo, I have a special guest to assist. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the Moog Mini Moog Model D. This is an iconic synthesizer that was first produced in 1978. You may have never heard of this synthesizer before, but you've heard it on countless records. From Michael Jackson to Devo to Dr. Dre, and that's barely scraping the surface. And today we're gonna use it to see how far we can get that 13 and a half inch woofer to move. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Now I, I would suggest using some good headphones, and if you are using a sound system or listening on a sound system, don't turn it up too much as this could damage your speakers. And of course, do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. I am a trained professional. All right, now that all that's out of the way, let's do this.
wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Whew. Did you, did you see that? Did you, could you hear all that? Oh, everything was shaking. My body was just vibrating after that 10 minutes of, of playing around. And, you know, even a couple hours later, like I was still kind of shaking a little bit. I mean, I heard windows rattling. I heard windows shaking downstairs in the kitchen all over the place. It was nuts. It was just, it was just a wow kind of situation. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, so now for my first impressions about the subwoofer. I've been using it with the SVS Ultra Bookshelf 5.0 setup, and it's a perfect match. Now, if you guys haven't seen my video about that speaker package, uh, I'll link it down in the description, and of course, with a card up top. Now, out of the three modes, I like extended mode the most. That's when only one port is plugged, and that gives us a frequency response down to 13 hertz. And I will give you like a, you know, my full thoughts after I have some more time with the subwoofer and I'm going to use it with a few other brands of speakers because I have a, a few uh, in house. So the subwoofer has like two sides to it. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. At times it's, it's like a gentle giant. Bass is calm, collected, supple, delicate. You know what I mean? And then there's other times it's like a beast lurking in the corner of my living room. No, seriously, like all of a sudden, the house just starts shaking and it doesn't stop. Right, watching a movie like Dunkirk with the subwoofer like this is really, really intense. Oh man, I scared the crap out of my wife by like blasting this the other day and she was in the next room. She had no idea what was going on uh, in the living room or what I was doing there. And then the gunshots were super loud. The bass was hitting like all the time. And then it was like quiet, like dead calm. And then a couple of minutes later, you know, it's intense again, bombs dropping on the beach, and it was just crazy, shaking the crap out of everything. So I gotta say, this thing is insane. It's intense, it's awesome. Love it, love it. So those, those are my initial impressions. Uh, bass is delicate and smooth, and also on the flip side, it can produce earth shaking intensity and impact. I'll just say it again, wow, this thing is awesome. Now, if you have any questions about the subwoofer, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on whichever social media you use the most. Of course, there will be a link in the description if you want to pick up a PB4000. And let's not forget once again to thank SVS for sending this over for review. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. It's been, it's been a pretty awesome experience so far with this subwoofer. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D, I am the Techno Dad, and I'll see you next time.